Hey everybody, how you guys doing there today? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Halloween at the Manor. So this is going to be our haunt update video number nine. And uh, it is actually an absolute beautiful day out here today in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is the first real day that feels like fall. Uh, it's probably 70 degrees, it's sunny, the breeze is cool. It's just absolutely awesome. It's the uh, perfect day to show you guys uh, that yesterday we did start setting up our yard. And in a few seconds here, I'll show you uh, what we did. Um, we're gonna have a lot more to do here, of course, uh, but really just wanted to get the, the fencing set up, the column set up, uh, also kind of lay out where the, uh, the walkthrough is gonna be in relation to the yard and things like that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll go ahead right now and I'll, I'll take you out to the yard and show you what we did. So I got some of the, uh, the columns up, um, all of the smaller fencing, uh, and today I would like to try to get up the other side of the, uh, the yard as well. Um, now I did have to kind of tweak my uh, initial thoughts on our setup here. Um, I mapped out, it might be hard to see, but uh, I mapped out how wide our, uh, our walkthrough is going to be and basically had to uh, shoot the fence in and shoot the fence up in like an L shape. Uh, to get this to fit because this is going to be actually the uh, the exit of the walkthrough here. So what I want to do today is um, I want to try to set up this other column over here so we can put up the cemetery arch sign. Um, what I'm doing is to make sure that the cemetery arch is really stable. Um, I put a piece of uh, four foot rebar in this cemetery fence post and I put another four foot piece of rebar in this cemetery so we have two four foot rebar in here. I do have to work on, um, this is a little bit uneven here. And then we also have all of this connected as well. So um, hopefully the cemetery art sign, uh, we won't have any issues with it this year. All right guys, so I did get the other section of the fencing completed. So I got this other column in here today. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to use the cemetery arch sign or not because um, the way that I had this mapped out, like I said, I, I took a rough map out of what I think our walkthrough is going to be here. And um, this right here is going to be one of the, uh, the this is going to be one, one of the walls of the walkthrough. So this thing is going to come like right up to here. What I was afraid was is as people came out of the walkthrough, um, I didn't want them running into like anything like a, like a fence or anything. So. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to use the arch, but it looks like I probably can. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna leave this fence post here or not. Uh, if I do, the reason why I'm, I have this fence post here is because just like on this side over here, uh, I put a piece of four foot rebar in this uh, this PVC post and a four piece rebar and uh, four foot piece of rebar in this post too, so that it keeps this uh, really in there tight so that the uh, the sign is okay. But um, I'm kind of unsure about this fence sticking up. I really don't want anybody, any kids like coming running out of the uh, the walkthrough if they're like they're scared and they run into the fence. So what I might do is if I do leave it up, maybe I can put one of the uh, the cloaked figures here so that you know if they come running out they'll see the guy and they'll just run right past him and go running right out the uh, the cemetery fencing here. On these two columns right here they're kind of wobbly even though I have rebar in the uh, the PVC post at the end here. See they're really wobbly. So what I might end up doing is I might end up making a big gate for them but like have the gate look like it's open and then put rebar in it so that the gate keeps these columns better in place because you can see they're kind of they're kind of wobbly all right so another thing i got done today is i did put the cemetery arch sign up however i just could not figure out a way to get it a little bit more um what i'll call fortified um my initial thought was to kind of run some two by two back here but i just cannot get it to work um, I was trying to find some like really bent two by twos at uh, at both Lowe's and Home Depot and I just couldn't find any. Maybe if I come across them over the next couple of weeks, I'll buy one and see if it can get it to work. 
basically I'm at the uh, the point where let's just see what happens so I'm just gonna put this thing up it seems to be pretty uh, pretty sturdy I have um, four three inch screws going right into the uh, the top of the column on both sides uh, it seems to be pretty sturdy so we're just gonna see what happens hopefully it'll last the next five or six weeks uh, and if it doesn't and it snaps then we'll deal with it when that happens I got the uh, over the front door facade up uh, I feel like we still need something on this front porch it looks and I know we just started but it kind of just looks a little a little empty so we have these really cool um, gargoyle statues that we got from at home a few years ago and they're really big uh we were thinking about maybe putting them out here on the front stoop to kind of give it some of that uh gothy flair if you will but um it's up it looks cool but like i said i just think we're missing something uh, i did bring out two tombstones here um i was working on the jason Voorhees one uh this week and it was sitting in the garage so i basically just wanted to get it out of here and the leatherface one um, it was in my way in the shed, so I just said, I'm just going to bring this out. Uh, Vanessa actually works right up there and has her window open. And today it was really cool. Uh, this little kid walked by the house and he said, good morning, Jason Voorhees, to the tombstone while he was walking to the bus stop, which I thought was both cute and hilarious at the same time. All right, guys. So the, uh, the last thing I did today before I'm going to call it a night is I did build a gate here. So I have a gate on this side and a gate on this side here. Um, the gate is three foot wide. It's probably easier to look at over here. It's uh, three feet wide and it goes um, 54, 52, 50, 48, 46, 44, and 42 as far as um, the uh, PVC height. Uh, I did order some finials from eBay, so they should be coming here probably next week and I'll, uh, I'll finish those up. Uh, really the only reason why I set this gate up was, and I mentioned earlier in the video that I thought these columns were kind of wobbly, however, this seemed to did the trick on this one over here this is not moving at all i have a piece of rebar on the first one and the last one this one however um i don't know it's still moving a little bit but it's not as bad as it was before but um i was gonna put a hinge on here but i decided i'm not gonna go through the hassle of it really this is just to keep these columns in place so i just ran a piece of two by two right along here bolted it into the column and and kind of left it as it is all right guys so we got a ton of stuff done today we pretty much got all of the tombstones out um there are a few in the basement but they're kind of cutesy ones that we bought at the store and i just don't think we need them um all the ones in here are pretty much the ones i made except for like maybe two or three of them and then down there there's i'll take you down there then there's a uh, all the ones over in that part of the yard are ones we bought at the store but um yeah we got everything done today um what we're gonna do is we have this um, this ramp here. Uh, this is the base for our Wailing Phantom. So we're gonna put him, uh, probably not to like Halloween night or maybe like the week before, uh, right front and center here so that like, last year a lot of people were like congregated right around this area of the yard on trick or treat and stuff. So we thought he might be like the perfect kind of like greeter. So he's gonna be here. Uh, I have all the tombstones here. Uh, we do have one of our, um, cloaked guys that I made with the uh, the canvas drop cloth here so he can be out now um, I did put up the sleep what I'll call the sleepy hollow scarecrow um, I love the scarecrow but I don't at this time know if it really works uh, we we are gonna beef this area up though we're gonna put like hay bales in here and get corn stalks and put jack-o-lanterns uh, thinking maybe this is gonna be like a photo op area for people um, but at this time I'm kind of like on the fence if I want to keep this guy out or not so Let's take a walk down here. Uh, we got uh, all the tombstones here. And we got uh, our groundbreaker coffin here with the, uh, the vampire head. We have, um, I made this two years ago. It's a, uh, it's a groundbreaking prop here, which I think is kind of gnarly. Uh, this guy here is pretty cool. This is uh, one of the corpse skeletons I make But what I did was is I actually ran a piece of four foot PVC up him and then I corpsed it So you can't see it and this right here is on a piece of I put then I put a four foot piece of rebar in the ground sunk him in and uh, I think he looks awesome. So what we're gonna do here is uh, We're gonna have him and I'm gonna probably do another guy here look like they're digging a grave and then we have the the two guys here uh, going to the 
coffin cart over here to uh, to get the body and um, this coffin cart is actually the Home Depot one uh, and it's awesome uh, we do have a video of on our channel of how this thing works and everything if you wanted to check that out but um, yeah we got this up um, I dumped one of the uh, one of my least favorite corpse skeletons in here for now just so there's something in here take a walk down here this is the little L-shaped alcove over here. And we got this awesome tombstone that we got at Spirit Halloween a couple years back. This thing is awesome. I wish we could get another one. Uh, we do have here the, uh, the Poe tombstone that I made. Uh, if you saw our video like two years ago, I did have to kind of beef this up because for some reason, even though it was only out for one year, it did start to kind of separate. So I had to kind of beef that up. We got our, uh, our second cloaked guy here, again, with the canvas drop cloth so he can be out the whole time. So let's get out of the, uh, the first part here. Uh, one quick thing too is we do have our uh, our zombie out, and you guys saw him, so he's there. So let's go over to this uh, this other part of the yard here. So this is the area that I was saying basically has all of the uh, the store bought tombstones. So we have a couple ones that we got. I think we got like I think we got these two at Target. This one is awesome. This we got we got this one at home. I think this one was an old Home Depot one, and I do not remember where we got that one. We have these, and then we have our uh, zombie guy, which you already saw. I'll give you one last kind of walk through here of the uh, our outside cemetery. Uh, the next biggest thing that we're going to tackle is the lighting. Uh, I always feel like uh, that's the biggest piece, and I struggle with that. But um, Vanessa always feels like I do a pretty good job with it, so I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I really want to thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry if this one got long. Uh, there was just so much stuff that we did this week. And um, I'm sure the next couple of videos will be <laughs> equally as long because we have so much more to do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Also, before I go, I want to say thank you guys so much. We actually cracked 750 subscribers the other night. I mean, that's like 250 subscribers. We just cracked 500. So not too long ago. So to do 750 now, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. So again, thank you so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care.